show that I'm doing at the Garbusian Gallery called Fem Instance is me taking my photography to another level. I really miss the physical in photography. When I grew up, I was always aware of the physicality of prints because my dad was a very serious amateur photographer, so I would always marvel at his photographs that he did in the darkroom, this thick coat of bromide paper. For many, many years, I always considered photography a physical art form rather than a, a visual art form because the print was just as important as what's in the image. Since the advent of digital photography, the physical in photography just barely exists anymore because you take photographs, you see them on your phone, you see them on your computer, you like something, you save it to your desktop. And I really miss holding actual prints. And by doing emulsion transfers, I was able to finally do one-of-a-kind pieces of art. Each one is one destroyed Polaroid, basically. So it's one piece, unlike other photography where the same image can exist. Infinite amount of prints. So I really wanted to just create individual pieces of art. And this was the idea behind the show. Most of the photographs in the show were from photo shoots that I've done where I've taken a few Polaroids here and there. Most of the film that I shoot on a photo shoot is film, but I'll take a few Polaroids here and there. So I had amassed quite a few of them. It was with these old Polaroids that I cut up, destroyed, and extracted the emulsion and turned them into the emulsion transfers. The models that I use are just from basically friends of mine and models that I've been using for some 20 years or so. I have a very stable selection of models that I use because taking photographs is a very personal project for me. I tend to use people that I know and they know me and we just have a good time shooting together. They're models that I've known for many, many years. Some of them are new, but a lot of them are just old photographs, old models. One of the fun things about working on this process is the uncertain elements as to how these transfers are gonna turn out. Some colors are altered. A lot of the images turn into this kind of vintage green and some are orange. Something outside of myself determines what these photographs are gonna look like. Because of this and because of the kind of fuzzy nature of them, they look very timeless. Like you don't know when they were taken. Some look like they were taken in the 1800s. Some, well, because of the, the fashions that they're wearing are definitely more, more modern. I mean, I've always been into timeless work. I've never liked to have my work pegged in a certain time frame. Like I never wanted my work to look contemporary. Because even for my regular photo shoots, I like to borrow from vintage styles and mix up different eras. Just so you can't really tell when the photograph was taken, it's just, uh, it's timeless. <laughs> <laughs> 